Hey folks, it's Little Black Belt here. Uh, I can't remember which part this is. Maybe part 5 of US loadouts? Part 4 or 5? I can't remember which. But anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Browning 1919, which is a completely uh, amazing weapon at the moment. Uh, it always really has been since it's been in the game. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't have a dedicated 1919 guy, so we're going to be taking out my Johnson guy with the 1919. So uh, let me just bring it over here and show you the mods that I use. I gotta take some of these off the Johnson real quick. Uh, so, you get this thing stock, it's, uh, I wanna say 600 RPM? Let's look. Uh, yeah, 600. So, I mean, that's pretty good. It's solid, but uh, I like to bump it up a bit. Uh, and I try to keep this as stable as possible, so I'm gonna use uh, the sights and the spring and if you notice the spring doesn't decrease accuracy or stability just range so you're going to lose a little bit of range here but at the same time it's going to be a little bit more stable than if you used say the trigger uh, but not a huge difference really uh, but i do like the spring and then finally i use the stainless steel barrel which will give us uh, the max amount of accuracy we can have on here uh, you could go chrome line barrel but i like the damage where it's at that's a pretty solid you know three hit kill so uh, I don't use any ammo uh, outside of just the regular uh, uh, stock 30-06 because um, it's going to decrease your accuracy and stability, you know, by a bit. And that's, uh, for me, it's not really desirable. So I, I tend to prefer uh, not using any upgrades for the ammo, so I'm just leaving it stock. Uh, there's a variety of different camos, or, uh, yeah, camos that you can use, uh, you know, got the beach, the dark walnut, and the uh, anodized black, but uh, I haven't bought any of them yet. I've just left it factory. And typically when I play this gun, I like to bring out two pouches just because uh, you'll run out pretty quickly if you're using this as your primary uh, with only, I want to say, what is it, 150 rounds, I think, is the is one pouch. Yeah, 150. So that'll pump you up an extra 100 there, but it will bring you to 8 eight equipment points. So those are the mods I use for it. And there's uh, several things that you can go, you know, bring as like a sidearm or, uh, you know, you could, I guess, bring a knife. Um, I usually just run nades, but, uh, you know, if I, if I had them unlocked, I'd use the sticky nades, but I don't quite have them yet, so. Yeah, I'm, I don't really like nades that much, but AP nades, but, uh, you know, I'm just using it because I got two extra spaces. Another option would, of course, to be a pi to bring a pistol. I just never bought a pistol on this guy, so you could do that too. That may be a better option if you don't have fast reload, which I'm going to get to right now. So, the badges I use uh, right now, I got heavy set silver, uh, preferably heavy set gold eventually, but we got quite a ways until we get there. And I got fast reload gold, which you don't really need. Uh, you could run for your second badge slot. Uh, you could run tight grip. Which kind of helps with the 1919. It does help a bit. But I like the fast reload. This is mostly because this is my Johnson character. And I think Johnson really needs a fast reload. If you don't have veteran membership, I would probably just go with tight grip as your single badge slot. That's probably going to be the most helpful. If not, you could always run heavy set. You know, it's pretty much always a viable option. So, yeah. And if you're curious about the camo, it's Army Fall. But uh, who cares, right? So anyway, I have a pre-recorded match that I did, and so I think I'm just going to play that, and then I will meet you uh, back at the end for a little recap, so I will see you then.
Okay, so coming after that battle here, uh, you can see we didn't do too bad. Unfortunately, we weren't able to pull it together as a team and uh, win the match, but uh, hopefully the match was a good demonstration of the 1919, as it is a very powerful weapon. So, uh, you know, here's the progress on the ribbons if you're interested in that. Uh, what you're probably more interested in is the profit here, so I'm just going to ignore the veterans since I know a lot of people watching this probably don't have vets, so we'll go with just, you know, 7.5k there. And we only lost, uh, actually that's a considerable amount, but, you know, I spawned a lot of cars and everything, so. Um, but the, usually the upkeep on this thing is really, you know, not bad at all, so. Hopefully you'll have a lot of fun using it, and uh, I know I do. Um, actually, I bought a new character to uh, specifically use the 1919, I just haven't played this guy at all yet, but uh, he's going to be my 1919 guy. Um, so, I think you'll really like it, I know I do. Um, obviously if I'm making a new character just for the 1919. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I hope you guys got a good feeling of what the new render looks like. Uh, I'd say the only probably annoying thing is the really bright sun. It's like really bright. But other than that, it looks really nice. So hopefully you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.